as your average person, like we all have insecurities. So there's always those things that we really dislike about ourselves. And until you see a photo that makes that certain part of your body look pretty, are you like, oh my gosh, it's really not that bad. I've never met a person that didn't have something about themselves that they didn't like. If we all understand that we all have that thing that makes me hate me, the things we hate are the things that draw people in. After 30 years of working as a glamour photographer, you get really good at hiding things. This project isn't like that. This is that thing, the thing that I don't like about me. You know, maybe it's a, maybe it's kind of like a rallying cry. I truly believe that that's something that definitely has to be celebrated. And that's really kind of the point of what I'm trying to do. He will find what you feel insecure about and make you look beautiful regardless and make sure that you're okay with it. Um, but I have a deformity in my spine and ribs. So if I'm standing certain ways, you can tell that it's there. I've empowered myself to say it's there. Everybody has something that they're gonna be self-conscious of. This is mine. It's a part of me. It's who I am. None of us are perfect, so. So I would say my biggest insecurity is actually my breasts. They don't know your insecurities. So when they're taking photos of you and they're focusing on certain parts of your body and they're like, oh, this is so beautiful. This is such a pretty image and you see it, it changes your mind completely. And then you still have to remember that we all have insecurities and we all have different bodies. So it allowed me to embrace my own just a little bit more and not being that picture perfect model with the you know, really big breasts or the perfect teeth or the long hair, really tan skin. So it just kind of felt good to still be myself and natural and still feel really pretty. Um, let's see, the thing I don't like about myself is my nose, but it's one of those things that it's already on my face, so I kind of have to just deal with it. Um, when I was a kid, I used to think about getting nose jobs when I got older all the time, but it took until about I was 14, about the time I turned 14, I, I started looking more at myself in the mirror when I started finding the things that I liked about myself and the things that other people liked about me physically and the things that my family thought was the most beautiful about me, it helped me completely draw the focus away from all of those negative things and start focusing on the things that are actually attractive about me. In 2012, I learned that um, I had a tumor in my right breast. It was cancerous, so instead of removing the entire breast, the doctor said we could just remove half of it and then do reconstructive surgery at a later time. Why go through another surgery? I can just live the rest of my life with what I have and be happy with it. Learn to love myself um, because I could either have both breasts and be dead or miss half of one and still live for my kids. That's what I chose. I chose to just say forget it. I don't need the surgery. Once people realize that this is a universal thing, something that we're all clutching to about our own self-images, I think that it can be a very powerful statement.